okay so now we have date functions so what are the date functions very simple so add months this function will add number of months to a particular date so add number of months to a date let us assume we want to add six months to every employee based on their hire date and we'll name the output column as probation so let us run this query guys there are no specific ways to use this uh, these functions or operators it's all about your creativity now if you see the hire date of this one is 17th june 2003 and the probation period will end on 17 December 2003 very simple so this function will add number of months to a particular date the last day gives the last day of the month select last day 10th July 03 from Duel. so let's see what's the last day of the month July can we see 31st July 2003 that's the last day of this particular month months between very simple as the name goes finds out the number of months passed between given dates so now we have two dates 29 July 12 and 30th April 2013 so how many months are between these dates so you can use this function to get the number of months which are between these two dates so it, it says minus 9 so technically if you are using I mean you should be using the uh, higher value first and then the lower value so 2013 should I mean you should uh, have um, I should have kept it like that but that's okay the output is minus 9 it gives negative uh, because this date is smaller uh, or earlier than this date so that's the main reason but that's okay we get the correct output now next day is returns the date of a specific day for the next week let's take today is what from my system time it is 19th uh, number and it is 2 47 a.m okay that's uh, too late in the night that's okay <coughs> so next day now what's today today is monday by my system and i want to know what's the date for the next Wednesday so so next day let's go with Tuesday and over here I'll put the date of my system my system date is mm, 19th November 18 okay so this is the function next underscore date you will have to give the date and the day which day you want in future and it will exactly give the date of the next Tuesday that's coming on our calendar so let us run this query so I want to know what is the date on the next Tuesday it says on 20th November will be next Tuesday so that's correct right from my calendar 20th number is the next Tuesday so the same way let's take I want to know what's the date on Friday based on this date based on my system date so if I run this query it says on 23rd number it will be a Friday so rather than giving the uh, exact date I can even use sys date because sys date is an internal function that will by default input the system date right again we have two functions round and truncate so round the same logic goes if it is 0 to 5 it will be it will remain same or it might go back and if it is from if it is above 5 to 9 it will move to the next date now this logic is good for numbers but when it comes to dates how this logic is defined we need to get more in depth to understand this one let us first run this query select round sys date our current date and I want to round it to the nearest month okay so let me run this query and then see the output 
and I'm running this one. The output is 1st December 18. Why? See guys, when you're working with round and truncate function, you need to understand what is the half. Okay. Half value. So if you exactly understand the half value, you will be able to solve these problems very easily. Okay. So what exactly is the half value of a month? The 15th date is defined as the half of the month, right? Now, it's very simple. With my system time, it is 19th. If it is above 15, it will move to the next month. Okay. So because it is 19 and it is above the half value and we are rounding it to the nearest month. So what happens? It has moved to the 1st of December. Perfect. Now, if the date is 14th, let us try this one. Rather than this date, I am inputting 13th November 18. So what happens now? Okay, so what's the issue? <coughs> Round. Did I make a mistake? Invalid number 13, number 18. Let's give 2018. No, it's not working. <coughs> okay. So give me a minute. I'm using this function. And then mm, let's try. I think it should be two number. Yeah. Okay, it's working. Don't worry about this function, guys. Uh, we'll be understanding about these functions later. For now, just assume the my system time is 13 number. So what happens uh, as per our thumb rule, the half value is 15th November. So because the we are rounding to the month, for the month, 15th is the half value. The 13th November is below the half value. So that's why the month rounding is done to first number, right? Now, let us assume we want to round it to the year. So this becomes more tricky, guys. For year, what is the half value? It's, uh, I think, June, right? So if anything bil uh, from Jan to June will be rounded to 1st of the January, right? Anything after July to December will be rounded to next year. Now we are in the month of November, correct? So system date, we want to round it to the year and it is above June. So that means the output will be 1st January 2019. It, it will be rounded to the next year. So let us execute this query and see the output. Can you see 1st Jan 19, correct? So in the round function or the truncate function, you need to always work on the half value, what is the exact half, and then drill down what exactly is the date, the month, the year, right? Now with the truncate function, it is, little tricky it never moves to the future value okay see truncate will always lower down but it will never move to the future value whether it is above half or below half it does not follow the rule of half it just rounds the value to the previous value so in this case uh, let's assume okay what i want to do is first i want to truncate it to month so what should be the output even though it is 19 november as i mentioned the truncate function do not move the value to the future value so if you are trying to uh, <coughs> round this is date to the month the output will be first of november let me run this query 
so the truncate function it does not follow the half rule how the round function follows the truncate will always go to the previous value right it will never go to the future value now in this case we are rounding sorry we are truncating it to the month even though sys date is above 15th but the rule of half is not followed by the truncate function so our month is rounded to first number now in this case if you are looking at the year the output should be 2019 or 2018 it should be 2018 because truncate will never take future values it will only take the previous values so based on the year even though we are in the uh, November month the truncate function will fall back to the 1st January 2018